This is uh, one of 90 Rolling Stones lithographs signed by the Stones uh, that actually was given to me by the company that put them out. Uh, this is a gold single by Saigon Kick. That was a top five record. Let's see what else we got here. Marilyn Manson, uh, Beatles picture disc. Oh. Stars on 45, which was the number one record that was released by Atlantic at a label I was involved in called Radio Records. As a lawyer, not a label. There's some Peter Max over here. This is Jimmy Page and um, Robert Plant when they went, the two of them went out together. Uh, obviously from the Rolling Stones. That's the Bee Gees, all three of them. Unfortunately, there's only one left. Is Barry. That's another Led Zeppelin guitar by the three living members of the group. Uh, this is a Joe Walsh litho that Joe signed to me. Um, I put out the record, one of the records following this record. This was, I think, a Warner's record. But Joe was a good friend. That's the two live crew trial. In federal court, cameras are not allowed, so they had sketch artists who would. And you can see my hair is a lot longer <laughs> back then. Yeah, this is all gone. Uh, this is Two Live Crew Canada. This was uh, the Atlantic record that they put out in Canada, and this was the Luke Records version of the. Uh, this was as clean as they want to be. Canada wouldn't put out as dirty as they want to be. <laughs> they felt it was a little too much. Uh, a mandolin sitting about belonged to, I can't remember who. Um, King's Addiction. This is B.B. King's show that we went to on New Year's Eve, which was great and wonderful. B.B. King has an autographed picture of Lucille, his guitar. And this was the Beale Street Festival uh, where I went to see Robin Trower, who I put a record out with from Pro Call Hammer. Okay, here we have uh, a Beatles litho. Uh, it's a limited edition. We have uh, the album of. Uh, these are Rayleigh really Gears by Cream. Uh, also, same thing, a limited litho. And there's the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper, we all know and love. Yeah. And Peter Max has been a good friend over the years, and I commissioned him to do the album cover for Jericho. This is uh, the band's first album in like 14 years, came out in 93. This is uh, signed by all the members of the band and Peter. Um, it's now uh, in one of his books that he just recently released, the album is in it. That's from the Zombies, one of my favorite British bands. They toured in 2014. I was there. She's not there. This guitar is signed by the Doobie Brothers. We did an album with them called Sibling Rivalry. Uh, this is what I have to show for it. <laughs> Uh, put out an album by Stephen Stills from Crosby, Stills & Nash. This is a signed guitar by Stephen, uh, and actually a very good guitar on top of that. So it's, uh, it's a Martin, which is one of the best acoustic guitars made. This is um, Nirvana, signed by the three members. This is Rick Derringer. I, I oversaw a record that Rick released, which was a jazz album, hence this guitar. Dave Mason, who's a very good friend and client, and uh, I've been a fan of Dave's since Alone Together, which was his solo album. Did an album with Earth, Wind, and Fire. That's the poster we have created for that. And here we have a Rolling Stones guitar autographed by all the touring members of the Rolling Stones, and a large tour poster from 1989 which was Steel Wheels. A Grammy poster that Peter Max did and signed for me. Uh, he's done several Grammys over the years. This is uh, Hard Day's Night, signed by the Beatles, uh, with a, uh, this has been uh, authenticated. It's pretty cool. Steven Stills, that's the album we released. And uh, Milton John, signed by Elton, which I didn't release, unfortunately. <laughs> over here we have Asia. Signed autographed guitar by Asia, and an Asia clock autographed by Asia. This is the Dave Mason album, probably one of my favorite albums of all time. Uh, this is the front, that's the back. It folded up, it was called the Kangaroo Pouch, and the 
album itself is multicolored vinyl. And uh, Dave signed it, not only to me, but me and my wife, which is important. Aldi Miola, autograph guitar, one of the great jazz guitarists of all time. Uh, that's an Asia lithograph signed by the artist, Roger Dean. Uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, signed by all four. Also one of my favorite acts of all time. Eric Clapton, Backless, I represented the band that played on that record with Eric. And Yardbirds, another Rolling Stones, but unfortunately not Eric. <laughs> There's something cool, if you can get this. If you can read it, it's great. Did you ever see that? It spells my name every way you can spell Alan, and he says something like, I don't know how to fucking spell it or something. <laughs> he writes fucking. Great. Pretty funny. Great. That was our first release. Good. Yeah. Anything in here? Oh, oh shit. Like this. Three, three, nine, eleven. <laughs> okay, Eagles. Uh, this is Hell Freezes Over. Uh, now, ultimately, this is five times platinum. Ultimately, it went eight times platinum. And Pyramid got a credit on that record because Joe Walsh appeared courtesy of Pyramid Records. Oh, cool. Well, they, they gave that to me for that. Uh, Trick Daddy. This is. Uh, how deeply I got entrenched in hip hop uh, to this day as a client and, and friend. Let's see, I got something really nice over here. This is uh, Hotel California by the Eagles. This is uh, this piece here is the backstage pass for Hell Freezes Over. Uh, which I decided, I didn't know what else to do with it, so I decided to, when I frame the Hotel California poster, I put that in there. Um, unfortunately, we just lost Glenn Fry, so glad that I have this. Uh, here is an annual festival that's held in uh, Sonoma. Uh, the Doobie Brothers uh, manager uh, this particular year was Grand Nash, Dave Mason, all people I knew uh, and had great relationships with, have great relationships with. This is uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, signed by Greg Lake, uh, Brain Salad Surgery. It was done by the artist who did the art, the art, all the work for uh, Alien. The initial movie of Alien is, is this guy's work, and you can kind of see where, <laughs> where that would or that would work. This is Lay Down Sally by Eric Clapton, co-written by George Terry, a client of mine. Here we have Rolling Stones 1972 poster. Uh, Elliot Landy was a good friend of ours. We did all the band stuff. He brought me this, uh, these cards that he signed, each one of them. He's unfortunately not with us any longer. But these are some amazing, amazing photographs from the rock era, from Joplin, uh, Dillman, Clapton, Santana. It's great stuff. This is uh, Dave Edmonds, member of Rock Pile, somebody who also put a record out on. English, he had a huge hit with I Hear You Nothing. Here's Joe Walsh, a guitar he actually played. <laughs> uh, everybody from uh, Stars on 45, that little single I showed you, Peter Brown, Dave Mason, uh, uh, Inner Circle that won a Grammy that year for that album. Um, Alan, what would, what, what would the difference in sales for? What's the difference between a platinum album and a gold album? What, what, in order to sales. receive a platinum album, you have to sell a million copies. In order to get a gold album, you have to send half, half a million. And is, is it still that case? Yeah. 
So Which is anybody, ridiculous. Does anybody get it? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, Taylor Swift, you know. <laughs> That's it. people are reading yeah, it. Yeah. That's it. Cool. Yeah. This is the first record I ever bought. Actually, my mom bought it for me. It's from 1955. It's uh, Rock Around the Clock by Bill Haley and the Comets, which was, to my knowledge, the first number one rock and roll record of all time. So I wrote on there, this is the one that started it. So, great fun. The only 45 I framed it. <laughs>